Hey guys, so what is up? Red Money here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, you guys may have saw the video I just released regarding building a 3060 Ti mining rig. And man, that was uh, definitely an intense video, really long video of building this whole thing and trying to explain just every single step in building this rig and hopefully some people enjoyed that. That video is tended towards, you know, miners that are just coming in and uh, potentially learning how to build a mining rig. But anyway, this video, I just wanted to just do an overview of this rig, you know, just what parts I've used and also what the mega hash is. And uh, actually, well, you guys can see it right now, we're getting about total, the whole mining rig is doing about 363.79 mega hash, okay? And uh, at the wall, okay, the power consumption, which uh, some people might be interested in, is about 820 watts at the wall. You can see here, we are getting roughly about, uh, yeah, 60 mega hash each card. And here are my overclocks, okay? So you guys know recently about the Hive OS uh, Absolute Core Clock, okay? So that is what we're using here. We're using about 350 on the core clock, and I'm doing 2600 on the MEM on each of the GPUs, okay, at about 120 power limit. But the power consumption, as you guys can see, it definitely ranges because we're using all different RTX 3060 Ti's, okay? They all have Samsung memory. All right, so now let me explain just the parts that I used in this rig real fast here. First things first, you guys can see I have Noctua fans on this rig. These fans are really, really expensive, but they definitely pump out a lot of uh, air as these are the higher end Noctua fans, uh, the industrial PPC fans. And then going along, the mining frame that I'm using is a AAA Wave, the sluice frame as you guys can see right here from AAA Wave. They don't sell this frame anymore. They actually sell one of the new 12 GPU mining frames, which I have done a review before. You guys can go watch that video. And then the GPUs, which is the most hottest ticket right now. Everyone's trying to get GPUs. And I was really, really hard pressed to make this video because I constantly get comments regarding, Red Panda, where did you get GPUs? Where can I get GPUs? Or like gamers are just hating on miners. And it's just like, it's never ending, right? Never ending. And in case you didn't see the build video, I did write out a whole sheet regarding, you know, basically the fake MSRP prices, the scalped prices of the GPUs that are like recently sold on eBay as of uh, May 21st. So you can see here, the Asus Strix 3060 Ti was 1600 and then the trio was about 1500 the ventus x3 was about 1300 the ventus x2 was about 1200 and the zotac twin edge cards were selling for about 1400 on ebay all right so uh yeah you guys can see right here i have two of those and so the reason why i wrote it out like this is because with all the parts together theoretically costed about eleven thousand dollars with tax okay i didn't spend that much most of the parts here that i have i already bought maybe last year uh, minus the gpus of course i got the gpus maybe a little bit more over than msrp so the strix i actually bought for like maybe a thousand dollars plus shipping so maybe a thousand fifty the msi card cards were definitely not 1300 or 1200 and then the Zotac cards which I got from good old Space Goats thank you Space Goats for the Zotac cards he sold them to me for about 900 USD which is still expensive right I mean if you compare it to like an RTX 3080 which you could buy it for like 900 USD back in September of 2020 so yeah anyways Going down the list here, you guys can see the motherboard that I bought, the Asus Prime Z490P, okay, that's what we're using, has six PCIe slots, and uh, all the other stuff I'm not gonna go through, but you guys can see, I'll have the parts linked down below in case anyone is interested. So hypothetically, you know, this whole rig costed roughly, if you were to buy it now, right, would be around $11,000, okay? Uh, as of May 21st of 2021, that's when I recorded all these prices, okay? And also got started in mining, all right, mining Ethereum, which we are recording as well, okay? It's publicly available. You guys can see this address here. I'll have it linked down below and I have it linked in the other video as well. So people can actually see how this rig is doing over time. Okay, so it just started. I'm literally recording this video after I built it. So it's mining right now to Ethermine and we're gonna see how long it will take to essentially break even on roughly about $11,000, okay? <laughs> For this single, RTX 3060 Ti rig, which is, oh, I, I'm thinking like it's gonna take forever, right? Because if we go to what to mine, for example, all right, I have my exact hash rate in 363 mega hash at about 820 watts, okay? And we can go down the list here, all right? So actually, we hit calculate just to do a refresh. 
All right, so mining Ethereum, as of right now, okay, this rig will make roughly about $31.33 a day. That's obviously if I sold every day. So let me just bring up the calculator here. Let's do 11,000 divided by 31.33, all right, 31.33, all right, so that'll give us all right, so the essentially break-even point will be roughly if the profits were to stay the same, which it obviously doesn't, would be about 351 days to break even on this rig. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, I just have a gut feeling it's not gonna be 351 days. It's gonna be like maybe, I'm gonna say just, just to guess, it's probably gonna be maybe a year and a half at most two years to break even, maybe even more. Because if the current market decides to go through a bear market and the price of Ethereum decides to keep going down, then breaking even on this rig will be much, much longer. As uh, you guys know, I'm gonna be hodling all the Ethereum that this rig mines up until we hit that break even point. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna sell anyway, we're just doing a theoretical test here, okay? So for people that have uh, you know bought a rig right now okay as of around in May which you guys know GPUs are extremely expensive we will see when we you know theoretically break even on this rig so you guys know I've done multiple of these kind of videos I've done these kind of tests before you guys know there is another rig that I have over here this is the 6x1660 rig okay and we essentially broke even on this rig in about 88 days but that was when I built this rig in February and also the profitability on that rig was really nice, right? The profitability, the block rewards were extremely high, but now it's, uh, it's come down a little bit. I mean, we've had some high times in profitability, man, it's much quieter in here, that's why I'm in here. But yeah, I just wanna see, you know, we'll see how long it takes. Anyways, guys, uh, I just wanna end off with, I do have another plan with this rig. Uh, you guys know I am using a 1200 watt power supply, but recently, just recently, I picked up a bunch of 1500 watt power supplies uh, from Alibaba. I'll have it linked down below. You guys can see what I'm talking about here. I got 10 of these 1500 watt server PSUs, uh, HPs, and uh, it didn't come with the ZSX board. I was just uh, doing a, an example. But I got 10 of these power supplies, just the power supplies, no breakup boards, no cables, for about 400 USD. Okay, so if anyone is looking for HP server PSUs, I'll have it linked down below. The Alibaba link that I used in case anyone's interested. I posted it on Instagram a while ago and I think a lot of you guys really appreciated that. So if anyone's doing mining rigs with server PSUs, this may be the way to go. 1500 watt platinum rated PSUs. That's, this is pretty awesome. So I may have to go, I'm probably gonna buy a bunch of these uh, ZSX boards from Parallel Miner, which are really awesome. You guys know these have the, uh, basically the 24 pin and the eight pin for the CPU to basically turn this kind of power supply into an ATX power supply. So what I want to do later on, I'm not gonna sure if I'm gonna do it now. I wanna change the 1200 watt power supply I'm using on this rig for a 1500 watt. I just wanna see if it works. Okay. I may do that in another video. If you guys are interested, let me know down below. But okay, my friends, yeah, just a little quick update of this rig. It's, it looks like it's, it's working really well, to be honest. I, I don't know what else to say. And uh, yeah, I'm using gprisers.com risers. I forgot to explain the rest of the parts. But yeah, 120 gig SSD. I'm using a G6400 processor with eight gigs of RAM. And I'm using a Molex splitter to dual four pin fan headers, okay? So I'm using two of those. You guys can see one here and one here to power these four fans. And I am using the other Molex end here for a riser on the GPU risers. Because on the EVGA PSU, I did not have enough PCIe, even with the splitters, okay? So with the splitters, we were only able to get 14 PCIe plugs, but we required 15 in total, including the risers and the GPUs for PCIe, because uh, this MSI Ventus X2 requires two eight pins, and this X3 only requires one eight pin, the MSI Trio requires two eight pins, and uh, the Zotax obviously require one eight pin, and then obviously the Asus Strix requires two eight pins as well. Okay, so yeah, really awesome rig. I, man, this is, this is probably one of the cleanest rigs I've, I've built in a long time. And I do get that right now, building rigs like this 
it's extre extremely expensive. I, I don't recommend anyone to build rigs right now. It's just extremely, extremely expensive. But that is why I'm doing this test of seeing how long, you know, theoretically we can break even on 11,000 at these very, very scalped prices of, uh, of the hardware, okay? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.